right, the weasel here with another gasifier run. This is my uh, fourth run, second video. Made some changes over the last couple of weeks, especially with my grate and the way it was attached. And uh, I was also able to get some uh, hardwood flooring for my uh, wood. Nice kiln dried hardwood flooring from an Amish sawmill that makes hardwood flooring. So I was at least able to get some uh, good wood and we'll see if I have any issues of bridging or not. But I've only got about 50 pounds of fuel in here so we'll, uh, we'll watch and see how it goes. The main thing I did was uh, I took my hinged grate and I, limit, I eliminated it and I went to a, uh, a, a grate that's on a, a swivel, a center point, so I can rock it back and forth because I was getting too much char depositing on one side of the gasifier than the other. And by doing that, um, I wasn't getting what I call even distribution of the char coming down through the uh, hearth. So uh, I made that change. I've been, uh, after about, uh, well, I've been into this for five minutes already, and I've already got uh, uh, gas burning. My uh, temperatures, uh, my hearth is at 540, 550 and climbing. My uh, grate's at uh, 284. I'm running at about uh, two inches of uh, pressure differential. And uh, I'm actually, as a total system, I'm running about four and a half, five inches of water. Uh, you can see that as the gas is coming out, you can, uh, when it first started coming out, very very gray very yellow gray and uh, but as time goes on that uh, yellow gray starts to disappear and it becomes more gray and uh, hopefully and eventually the uh, gas coming out of here will uh, be almost just look like a mist or a fog and hopefully I'll be able to do that for the whole run and uh, not just a part of it one of the reasons I shut her down the last time was because I lost my hearth temperature and then I wasn't producing good gas so uh, my objective is to produce a gas that's uh, uh, that's easy on the filtration system, whatever that might be. So uh, we'll just uh, monitor this and uh, we'll pull another video here as uh, things go. Okay, Weasel here with another update. We've been running now for an hour. I'm still running on the 50, 50 pounds of, of uh, wood I put in. And uh, she's been running the best it has yet since I've uh, started running this thing. I got a nice flame and uh, uh, looking really good. I want to show you the wood that I put in here. This is all the uh, oak hardwood I got from the uh, from the Amish sawmill, and I had to chunk it up a little bit smaller. But that's all kiln dried red oak, and uh, that has made for uh, partly for some uh, good success in running today. So uh, so far no hiccups. It's been working really good. And uh, I think my next endeavor will be to see what I can do about filtering and uh, get some clean gas going so it's clean enough for uh, internal combustion engine. Working, working good, working good. Run some pretty good temperatures. I'm running 1400. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, 14, 1460 on the hearth, 1150 on the grate. And uh, it's been. Uh, Working well. Weasel here with a continuation of my gasifier test today. I've been running uh, for about 2 hours and 15 minutes, close to 2 hours and 20 minutes. I'm probably just going to shut her down here pretty soon because uh, I don't know if I need to see any more today. Uh, I had two objectives for today, or two different things to try today. One was my fuel, and the other one was a change inside my gasifier. From my previous video and opening up the gas fire and looking at it after I ran it, I didn't like what I saw. So uh, I felt like I needed to make some changes in order to see if I could uh, have my gas if I run more consistently than it had the last several times. This is my fourth gas if I run and my second gas if I video. One of the things I did was I did find an Amish sawmill that makes hardwood red oak flooring and I was able to purchase a 55 gallon barrel of uh, nice uh, kiln dried red oak flooring that um, uh, just needed to be uh, made a little bit smaller so I wouldn't have any issues with bridging inside my gasifier. So I was able to forget the pellets and uh, try some good kiln dried hardwood which is what I'm running today. And then on the gasifier itself, 
I didn't like what I saw inside when I opened it up and originally I had a hinge grate uh, for the char to come down and I think it was depositing uh, more char on one side through the hearth than the other by virtue of the hinge. So I cut the hinge out and I welded a center post on the grate so I could go with a, um, uh, a grate that I can rock back and forth with hopes that I would get nice even distribution as the char is coming down through the hearth. Uh, so I uh, don't have any hot spots or lose my uh, uh, hearth temperature. The other thing that I've noticed today from running is I've been very consistent in that 1450, 1460 degree Fahrenheit uh, through the orifice plate. My actual grate temperature is about 1100 and I've hardly touched the, uh, the grate at all today and it's just been uh, going on its own ever since then. So uh, as far as testing goes, uh, this is the longest test I've had with uh, this kind of consistency on the uh, temperatures and on the gas output. So I have to say that I'm very pleased with the way this has worked today and uh, just help, uh, just learning a lot on how gasifiers work and where the variables are so they can be controlled and monitored and to get the end results that uh, one is looking for. So all in all, it's been a, a good test, a good day for running a gasifier.